Alright everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to some more Crash Bandicoot XS. When we last left off, we finished the last world of World 3 with Tiny the Tiger, and now we're going to move on to World 4. Start to finish. Let's go. So, um, it's been a little while since I last played Crash Bandicoot XS. I've, uh, you know, every now and then I need to take a break from recording videos. And um, I also hear that it was um, Labor Day in America, so um, happy Labor Day, everyone! Uh, all who actually, you know, uh, celebrate this uh, holiday. I don't because UK. But anyway, um, ah, oh, damn it! So we're now getting to, um, I would say, probably the harder levels in the game, levels which actually require quite a bit of skill. Or maybe these are actually really easy. In... Okay, I landed before I actually got killed there. Okay. You know what? I'm not even going to go for the gem. I'm just going to go straight to the end of the level. Because... Because this playthrough wasn't 100%. If this was 100% playthrough, I'd be um, actually trying to go for the boxes. But I'm not doing that. Yeah, and... i got to remember I have the death spin now. So... I can make the uh, the big jumps. Wee, wee, wee. Spinny, spinny. Oh, that's the enemy from Crash Two. And why did I do that? Yeah, I remember those guys. Those guys are annoying. Okay. There we go. Just gotta hold the button down. Boing. Um. Oh, we. Woohoo! Oh crap! Okay. All right. Checkpoint. Oopsie Daisy. Okay. Let's go over this. Oh, and also the reason I haven't been doing many videos on this as of late is because, again, I find Gmod a lot of fun. It's definitely a lot of fun. Um, if you don't have Steam, if you have Steam and don't have Gmod, you must get it at some point. It's it's that fun. Like, just get a bunch of your friends together, get Gmod, and you'll have such a blast playing the game. Seriously. Um, okay. How do I get up? How do I get up? Do I do that? No. Oh, there we go. I was, like, really confused there for a second. Also, since I'm not getting all the boxes, um, that is clearly a job for you guys to do. If you guys think you, um, want to do, like, a full-on 100% playthrough of this game, Go right ahead, I'm not going to stop you. I'm just merely playing through this game because you guys asked for it from the poll, and, um... Well... You guys are more than welcome to play this game yourself and get all the gems and relics if you want to. As for me, I'm just going to give you the bare bones playthrough. Anyway, air supply. And that is a dick move there, Gat. That is a dick move right there, game. Putting in the enemy right at the beginning of the stage. Okay. What is that? An electric eel? Yeah, it is an electric eel. It's the it's the eel from um, Crash 2. The uh, sewer levels. Alright, this one doesn't seem to be... Oh, wait, no. Okay. Uh, I guess while I'm playing through this, I, I can give you guys a bit of an update of what's to come after Crash Bandicoot is um, complete. Um, I have got a few ideas of what I could do next. Um, I've been thinking of possibly doing Mod Nation Races, being that it was a game that um, I uh, put under the poll, which was, I think it was a... Uh, it did pretty decently in the poll. I think it was like two people voted out of all the people who voted. I mean, to be honest, there was only like 
not that many votes for the whole poll itself. There was only like 10 or 11. And um, I think Crash won by two, two votes. Just barely. <laughs> Considering um, how many people actually managed to get uh, to uh, actually vote for the, for the games. But anyway. Um, Mod Nation Racers could potentially be next. Um, I also have Little Big Planet um, 2 under the, um, on my mind as well. That could potentially be a, um, a play for do next. Um, and um, one that uh, I've got two Sonic games that I actually yeah that I kind of wouldn't mind doing. Um, Sonic Advance for Game Boy Advance and um, a fan game called Sonic um, Sonic Before the Sequel. Which, um, for anyone who knows, for anyone who's a Sonic fan who knows what that game is, it is a game in which is a fan telling, retelling of the events between Sonic 1 and Sonic 2. And I just feel that since I played Sonic 1 recently, why not, instead of going straight to Sonic 2, why don't we play the game that's supposed to connect the, the, uh, the two, uh, the two games together? And, uh, see how, uh, how it plays out. But that's potential. That's not like, oh, I'm going to definitely play that. That's like a maybe game that I'll play in the future. In terms of what I'll do next, well, I'll leave that to later. In the meantime, oh, we got all the, uh, we got all the boxes. Nice, gem. <laughs> Nicely done. And uh, next up we have No Fly Zone. And it's another jetpack level. Okay, I'm going to admit this right now. In terms of the actual themes of the levels, uh, is it just me or is in this game they seem to reuse a lot of these themes way too often? Like, I swear we've done loads of like levels that are based on... Um, themes that we've done previously and it's just I'm getting just that little bit tired of overused themes for levels. I mean I don't don't get me wrong, this game's good. This game is very good for get for the first Game Boy Advance game, but it's just I don't know. The theming of the levels are a bit too overused for certain of the, for certain themes. I mean, don't get me wrong, they did that in you know, the PS1 Crash games, and I get that, but, you know, it doesn't help to have each level be a bit more, to have a bit a bit more variety compared to, uh, oh Christ, ah, screw you bombs, sorry, sorry, didn't mean to say that, oh my god, Jesus Christ, okay, why is, why is this, why is there so many things coming on on the screen, I can't, how do you dodge those bo- okay. Alright. Clearly this is getting a lot more challenging compared to um, the other jetpack levels. Mm, no! Get away! Get away! No! 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 God damn it! Sorry. Back at the beginning. I, you got to admit, this is not that fun. These jetpack levels are not fun in this. I mean, I kind of prefer the jetpack from Crash 2, to be honest. That just felt a lot more... A lot more fun compared to this, which just feels... Well, it just doesn't feel that good to play, to be honest. I mean, at least I am, I'm not going to get a game over, hopefully. I do have plenty of lives. But it's just... You know... But look at that plane! Look at it, that, the movement those planes go! That's so... Ugh. Also, why is it that when I hit the health balloons, I don't get any health back, but when I actually hit the crates of the, of the health balloon, I actually do get health back? That's the, like, the complete opposite of what happens in Crash 2. 
In Crash 2, if you hit the health blooms, you get health. If you hit the crates, you don't get the health. In this, it's like the complete opposite. Okay. Come on. Take this, blimp. Ugh. How do you... Okay. <gasps> I hate you, blimp. Alright, I'm firing at the blimp. You don't move fast enough, that's one of the major issues there. It's like... This isn't fun. <laughs> okay, there we go, there we go, there we go! Down goes the blimp. Checkpoint, awesome. Okay. What? Okay. Alright, give me health. Give me that health. Oh yeah. Lovely. And for some reason we're flying over a firework display it seems. Which, I mean, what, what are we flying over? Is this Chinese New Year or something? Or some other big fabled holiday? I don't know. Whoa. Whoa, what the flip? Really? Just dive bomb right in front of me, giving me no time to actually react. That's... Mm. Okay, give me the hell. Okay, oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, okay, oh my, okay. Stop. Stop. Okay, seriously. How do you expect me to react to some of these obstacles? There's like a thousand bullets happening at once. No way! Jesus Christ! How can I dodge all these planes? They move so quick, and I move at like such a steady speed. Okay, you get out of there. Also, these missiles don't help. <laughs> Ow! No! Ugh, Christ. Come on, at least take out this blimp before I die. Take out this blimp! Come on. Nearly there. Nearly there. Yeah! Alright. Awesome. And another checkpoint. Okay. I don't actually mind if I die now. At least I've gone past the checkpoint. Okay. Look at these. I really would like some health now. Just saying. Please give me health. Hey, okay, I got some health back. Okay. He yeah, okay, okay, alright. Alright, I've got more of my health back. That's good. And I've actually nearly got the box gem. Box gem, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> okay. This, I think this is the final blimp. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah! Woo! Oh my! Yeah, we beat level! Whew! Man, that was hard. That was hard. And it's not even out. Is that. Okay, I was about to say. I was about to say, was there another blimp level? But there isn't. Okay, thank God. Alright, uh, this is a good point for us to end this episode on. And uh, we did pretty decently on that episode, which is nice. Save that game just to be sure. Okay. Awesome. Alright. Um, thanks so much. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Crash Bandicoot Excess. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, please like, comment, like, subscribe, stay tuned for more, and join me next time where we will tackle Drip 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 and Final Countdown. -na -na -na. Na -na 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 -na. Sorry. <laughs> but anyway guys. Uh, see you guys next time.